The Comitatus class jump ship traces its origins back to the late 13th century, when Clan Snow Raven designed it as a standard transport vessel. Equipped with four docking hardpoints for dropships, the original Comitatus underwent various changes over the years. However, it was a flaw in its hydraulic system that prompted clan engineers to remove the two aft hardpoints, creating additional space for cargo storage. In 3035, Clan Jade Falcon pilot Vishnu Faulkner proposed the installation of fighter bays, transforming the well-armed vessel into a mobile fighter base. Despite initial skepticism, Faulkner's idea gained support, especially from Khan Elias Critchell, and the first modified Comitatus entered service with Clan Jade Falcon in early 3036. Recognizing the potential of this configuration, other clans followed suit, converting the majority of Clan Comitatuses into fighter carriers within a decade. The Comitatus class jump ship boasts impressive specifications and capabilities. With a mass of 250,000 tons and a length of 680 meters, it is a substantial vessel. The sail diameter measures 1,150 meters, allowing for efficient propulsion. The vessel is powered by CF drive with an integrity rating of 5, providing reliable interstellar travel. Its fuel capacity is 460 tons. The Comitatus design can carry 778.5 tons of cargo. As a designated fighter carrier, it is equipped with 20 fighter bays holding two stars of Omni fighters and five assault shuttles in a separate shuttle bay. However, these modifications reduce the Comitatus dropship capacity significantly. There is no known variant of the Comitatus class since its design was finalized as a fighter carrier but some of the early Comitatus incarnations with either four hardpoints or two hardpoints and increased cargo capacity might still exist. The original 2995 four hardpoint concept was a heavily armed and armored trader with four docking hardpoints for dropship. Though the two F hardpoints suffered from serious flawed hydraulic systems, a stopgap cargo solution implemented from 3002 onwards was to remove those two aft hardpoints entirely and to replace them with the cargo space. Setting the Comitatus apart from other jump ships is its formidable armament, blurring the line between a civilian jump ship and a warship. Equipped with an array of energy weapons and missile systems, the Comitatus possesses offensive and defensive firepower capable of challenging small destroyers and corvettes, and its ferro-aluminium armor is exceptionally heavy for a jump ship. Its armament includes 6 ER large lasers, 6 ER medium lasers, 2 ER PPCs, 6 large pulse lasers, 6 medium pulse lasers, 12 anti-missile systems, 2 Gauss rifles, 2 Ultra AC-20s, 12 Alarm 20s with Artemis 4 FCS, and 6 Streak SRM 6s. The Comitatus class jump ship represents a significant advancement in the realm of fighter carriers. Its ability to accommodate either 20 aerospace fighters and 5 small craft, or 25 fighters, as well as a star of battle armored elementals, highlights its versatility. However, the modifications made to transform the vessel into a fighter carrier have resulted in cramped conditions for the crew and pilots, limiting the capability for technical support personnel. This constraint affects the maintenance and repair capabilities of the Comitatus. Despite its limitations, the Comitatus class has proven its worth in combat scenarios. The success of this operation and similar encounters draw attention from other clans, leading to the widespread conversion of Clan Comitatuses into fighter carriers. Ironically, Clan Jade Falcon possesses the smallest number of Comitatuses and deploys none in the Inner Sphere. The Falcon's bitter enemies, the Steel Vipers, have deployed a number in the Clan Occupation Zone and used their aerospace forces to blunt several Federate Commonwealth raids. The Comitatus class jump ship stands as a true testament to the skill of clan engineers 
and the flexibility of jump ship designs. Its evolution from a simple transport vessel to a formidable fighter carrier demonstrates the adaptability of technology to changing needs. While facing challenges due to limited crew and technical support space, the Comitatus remains a valuable asset for clan forces operating in the periphery and inner sphere.